Hello you guys and welcome to today's vlog. So today's vlog is going to be about Eloise's NICU stay. So she was in the NICU for four weeks and I took a bunch of clips during those times. They're a little random so I'm going to show you those in just a minute but I wanted to kind of give you a little backstory about her stay in the NICU. Um, so she was in the NICU for around four weeks. Two of those weeks were in a, the big hospital and two of them were in a smaller hospital that was closer to us so that it would be easier to travel to her. Um, the schedule for seeing her in the NICU was absolutely insane. Me and my husband can never be there together because of COVID restrictions. We had to scrub for, I think it was three minutes every time we entered the NICU. Um, for the first two weeks, actually the first week or so, she was in a room with lots of babies in her incubator and she was receiving uh, the heat from the incubator. She had an IV with like sugar water to help her brain. Um, she was never on oxygen but she was on a feeding tube um and i would come see her while i was in the hospital and i would nurse her with a nipple shield which i can kind of tell a little bit about that later and um, i would also we would also bottle feed her and i was also pumping i ended up pumping so much milk that i had an excess of milk um, which you guys will see in one of the clips uh, but we also learned the nurses taught us how to do so many different things to care for her every three hours she had care times um, and in those care times we would take her temperature we would change her diaper um we would change she had a little pulse ox on her foot and we would change that from one foot to the other foot and we did that every three hours as well and then we did kangaroo time which was my favorite which is where you kind of put her in your shirt and you snuggle her um and me and my husband would do that at separate times um all throughout the four weeks uh because noah was home you know waiting for me i once i got out of the hospital the schedule was kind of that i would take care of him in the morning and when he went down for a nap at like 11 i would go and see eloise in the hospital until about 4 p.m and then i would come home and do noah's nighttime routine and then i was pumping all throughout the night i was pumping every three hours all throughout the day and the night actually um storing her milk and bringing it to the NICU the next day um, first of all, I just want to say that NICU moms are the strongest moms in the entire world. All of you guys rock and you know who you are. Um, being a NICU mom is really hard. You don't know when your baby's coming home. They don't really tell you when your baby's going to come home. It's all up to your baby. And for me, that was the hardest because I wanted Eloise home so bad, but it was completely up to her. She had to eat. Um, and that ended up being our main issue is that she just needed to eat and she wasn't eating very well and she needed the feeding tube and we couldn't let her come home until that feeding tube was out um but before i show you this clips i have some really fun little things to show you guys uh first of all this is a preemie diaper so this is essentially what she wore when she was in the nicu this diaper as you can see like from my hand is pretty tiny you guys she was four pounds nine ounces when she was born and um this was even a little big on her at first so i want to show you guys that uh there was a point where eloise had jaundice and she had to be under a uv blue light she had to wear these little goggles you guys can see like how small the circumference of them were and how tiny they are so she had to wear those to protect her eyes um what else do i have? so this is kind of the thing i was talking about the pulse ox so this wrapped around her foot. The pulse ox would go on and this would wrap around to make sure the pulse ox didn't come off. And this was her little tag that they scanned to bill us for literally everything she got. Um, but we would switch this and our pulse ox every three hours and they let us keep that. And this is the cutest, you guys. This is her little blood pressure cuff. Can you guys just see how tiny this is? Literally so small, you guys how tiny and I think that's all I have in here um except for the remnants of our old bracelets that we wore to even get into the NICU they obviously had a very strict policy we had to be screened for COVID every single time we came into the hospital and uh we were screened and then we had to make sure that we had the right band but I'm so glad I got to share those things with you and without further ado I'm going to show you some clips of Eloise's stay in the NICU
Hello everyone, so I am actually in the NICU with my baby girl. And she just got moved to an open room. Hopefully you guys can hear me because um, I have to wear this mask for her safety. Um, but we're doing kangaroo time right now. So she's all snuggled on my chest. And I am just loving all of these minutes with her. She's doing so good. This thing right here, that's just a little feeding tube, but most of the time she doesn't need it. She actually, so she's able to breastfeed with the use of a nipple shield. Um, and a nipple shield, it's basically, uh, I don't have it right here, but it's basically a silicone kind of nipple that goes over your boob and it just helps them to latch. And so she's able to latch on that. And she's not getting all of her feedings from that um, because I can't be here all the time. So she does have a bottle that she takes and she's doing really good with that. And so if she doesn't take her whole feeding, then um, they will use the feeding tube to help her eat. And um, let me show you guys the room. So ignore my messy stuff, but there's a couch, there's a TV, um, her fridge, there's a sink, and then her little open crib is right there. Here's my pump right here, and then all the monitors are right there. So, um, right now her weight is four pounds, 10.1 ounces, so she's actually gaining weight, which is really good. So the only thing really keeping her in the NICU now is her feed, so she can tolerate her temperature. When she first got to the NICU, she was in the incubator, so I have some clips from that where she was in the warmer, um, and she doesn't need that anymore because she can regulate her temp, which is awesome. Um, and then the only other thing, she was under the blue light for a little bit, um, so she was a little jaundiced, so they would check her belly ribbon a couple more times, but I think it's been stable. Um, and then she has had, when she was in the other room, she had a few breathing episodes, but she's been really good since then. And now she is up on her weight, which is super, super, super good. I have so many pictures that I'll put in this video for you guys so you guys can see. And, um, yeah. baby girl what are you doing did you just breastfeed so good for mama i'm so proud of you can you say hi you're so beautiful look at your outfit you're the cutest huh hi what are you doing mama's gonna swaddle you Love you. Look how cute you are! You're so pretty! You're so pretty, huh? Are you gonna go home so soon? Are you six pounds? Are you so big, girl? You just got your tube out. No more tube, guys. No more tube. No more tube. It's almost time to say bye bye to the NICU. Yay! And your little spiky hair. That's right. I know. What do you think about it? What do you think? Love you. We're taking Ellie home. Look at my little baby princess. She's got her bow and she's got her little rainbow outfit. Are you awake? Hello. She has nothing on her. No leads, no stickies, no tubes, no nothing. Huh? Daddy's so excited. And we're going to say bye-bye to her room. 
Got all our stuff. We got her a car seat. She passed her car seat test. Here's her little bed all empty now. And there's the chair I've been sitting in for like several weeks. <laughs> oh, she covering her face. What are you doing? You love having your hands by your face, huh? Yeah, you can talk, make little noises. <laughs> she just spit up all of her vitamins. <laughs> Thankfully before we put her outfit on. Okay, say bye bye. Are you spitting again? Are you spitting up we have again? So much already that we have I know. So much Look, breast milk. I'm gonna show you guys how much breast milk I have. Yep. Look how dark it is. I know, it's because it's been sitting in the freezer. So much breast milk, you guys. We don't even have room for it. So much. So much. Ellie Bell, are you in your car seat? You look so tiny in there, huh? Hello? Look at her looking at you, Carrie. I think she sees this black and white. Thing. What do you see? Look at you. Ooh, Ooh la la. We can go home? She's like, this is so different. Let's go meet your brothers. What do you think? We're in the car. We can go home, huh? Sissy. Yeah, he's smiling. Can you touch your foot? You gotta be gentle, okay? Don't grab it. Gentle, gentle. You gotta be really gentle. Yeah, can I take this? What do you think? What do you think? Baby? Baby. Can you say baby? Yeah. That's your sister. Oh, yeah. What do you think about it? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not sure, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not sure. How about mommy gets her out? Yeah, mommy get her out? Oh. Yeah, what if mommy gets her out? Are you excited? Uh. Okay, mommy will get her out, okay? Yeah, you want to sit up there? You get up there. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. You gotta be so gentle, okay? Gotta be so gentle. You wanna get up here? Okay. Can you help? You got it? Okay, sit down. Come here. Wanna see her? It's okay. It's okay. You wanna hold her? You wanna hold her? You wanna touch her head? Feel her head. It's hot. Noah. Noah. Oh. She just pooped. Oh, <laughs> Tiggy. <gasps> Noah. Yeah. Are you videoing her pictures? Uh -huh. Both. You hold her? Can you hold her? Hey, I'll hold her hand. Can you hold her? <gasps> Noah. Noah. He really doesn't know what to do. I'm gonna stop. All right, guys, that concludes the video of her NICU stay. I'm so happy that my baby girl is home and thriving. She's so cute and so big now, and I'm so thankful for her. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and please subscribe to my channel, Rosy Cheek Babes, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.